10 on the shot clock. It'll be Rondo. Not close. And Miritic chases it down. Looking for a triple. He's got it. Nico, 10 of 12. In the left. Josh Jackson now 0 for 6 to start the game. And he's been playing well for them. Nico, he can't pass it up, can he? Why not? 16-4. If Nico gets... Bells also in good shape. How about the spin? Miritich right around Dragon Bender. What a move. He took his foul to Lynn. And Lynn gave him space again. It'll be Drew Holiday on the back cap. Opportunity for Nico. Got it. 27-8. Don't wake me. This is too good. Trouble relocating and finding their guy. Nice spike by Miritich. Yulis thought he had a free run to the rim. Knocked away. Josh Jackson still has it, and he's going to get the roll out of it. They are featuring him. There's no question about that. He is a big part of the future of the franchise, along with Devin Booker. Well, what about a lead guard for down the road, as well as Tyler Yulis has played at times? Nico a little step-back action. That's not fair to the kid who played out of Alpo. Drew Holiday on the run. He's got Hill on the trail if he wants him. Instead, it's Miritich. Curls it home on the reverse. Well timed is Kevin Johnson. Yes. He was a tough guard. Jack Harrison. And they're going to call the foul, and hopefully Nico's okay. Is he at the deck with 4.9 to play? Nico on the fake of the show. Quick move by AD. Pretty spin. 47. It'll be Dudley. And the loose stuff taken away. It's up to Miritich. Slowed down in time, didn't he? Yeah. And now a timeout for Jay Triano. As Nico, hopefully he's okay. A little wince on the right hip. But boy, Nico's got 17. He's doing all getting out in transition and the finish, and maybe they can push this lead back up. It's 40 percent. Chris short out of his hand. You can see that, and it's right back to him. Denied though, and now they're going to call a foul on Miritich. Where? You be the judge. Did he walk him out? Right there on the elbow. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Dennis both could lose in that game. <laughs> a tie. <laughs> now Rodmanovic back at it. Nice little jump hook. Lottie with the offensive glass. Now he's going to the reverse. Man, Darius Miller gets it away in a hurry. Drew's got Rodmanovic. And I said Vladi. Miritich. I've been talking about Vladi Rodmanovic for days now. Yeah, you just called and, it and that twice. Yeah. Yeah, because I compared Miritich to Rodmanovic, and I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> and Miritich, not Vladi Rodmanovic, because asking for the Diallo fifth. Got to go up. Nico. Got it. Huge. Boy, Miritich has been money since the start of on for Davon Reed to make it a single-digit deficit. Miritich going to the free throw line. Good take. So Nico at the stripe for the first time tonight. Not a lot of fellas have been trying to create good space. And Miritich will clear it away. Decent handle for the big fella. I like this game. They're deep three. Nico. Yes! Miritich big. Coming through. 98-81. Nico makes it a 17-point game. Boy, Woodman's about to come back into the game. Instead, a couple of free throws coming up. Once again, Josh Jackson, and he's going to have 10 attempts before it's all said and done. Send over to Jen Hale. Jen? Joel, you mentioned the fantastic night Nico Miritich is putting up. Not only does he have a double-double, but he also has a new career high. On skew. Is that a block or a steal? Both. Man, it's free throws coming up for Nico. It's official. 521 to play, and the fellas with an opportunity for the biggest lead of the game. So they had to happen out of the timeout on an 18 to 7 run. Meritich. Oh. Check. Good job on the back deck. Deep one. Not too deep for Jordan Crawford, though. Phoenix Suns win every face this franchise. He's got a lot of history with him. And as he meets Jay Priano at center court, 
He's got a lot of friends in this community, and it's nice for Alba to win six in a row against them. Yeah, no, it's, it's very nice, and uh, and it's a good win. You know, it's a win they they had to have, and and they came in here and took care of business and, and did it quickly, which is which is it's good. The King Firm, player of the game, Nico Miritich, he deserves it. We know he's going to be there. He's the constant. Uh, but both Drew and Nico, and Nico had a wild game tonight. Yeah, and from Nico, the start, he was ready. Nico with a new season high points, tied career high in rebounds, uh, and played well. Played within himself, didn't stand behind the three, and, and got, got to the basket. Let's head over to Jen Hill with Nico. Jen. Thanks, Joel. Nico, another dominant win at the exact moment this team needed it. What was working so well tonight for this squad? I think physicality. We knew it's going to be a very important game, and uh, I think right from the beginning we set a tone, and uh, offensively we shared the ball, and uh, we played uh, 48 minutes like we, we like we should. You and AD dominated. The big men ruled this evening. What was the chemistry like between you two this evening? Just playing simple basket, you know, and uh, especially the defense against AD, they're all collapsed, so... Like me, the rest of the guys, uh, we need to be ready to make those shots when we have open shots. So, uh, and uh, when he's rolling, most of the time I'm open because they're just uh, uh, trying to guard him. So uh, Rajan did a great job sharing the ball, uh, Drew too. So it was just one of those days when we were finding each other, playing fun basketball. And uh, I think it was all about the defense because we play good defense. With this win, you move into fifth place. Three games left to go. Where's the confidence level of this squad? It's huge. Uh, we know it's uh, it's all about us. We need to take care of our job. Uh, we have a really important game tomorrow. I think uh, if we play this level, we're going to have a chance to, to beat Golden State. But we need to go just game by game and uh, try to finish this uh, the best we can. You were trying to get a little bit of rest for the starters tonight. How tired do you think you'll be tomorrow? Me or the team? The team. The team. Uh, the team will be ready. This is three more games left. Uh, we need to give the best. So uh, there is no excuse anymore. We need to. We need to stay together, and uh, we just need to compete. And speaking of you, you had 31 points tonight. That's a new high wearing a Pelicans jersey, at least. Yeah. Are you ever going to grow facial hair again? Folks might start sending you razors in the mail. I don't know. It's fine. I mean, I'm just happy because it was a huge game for me, for my confidence for the rest of the season. And uh, I'm happy that we won the game. It's all about winning. And uh, I'm always thankful to, for my teammates, for the way they, they play, they find me. And uh, we just need to keep moving uh, forward. Is that the biggest difference for you right now, your confidence? Yeah, yes, it is. Uh, I was uh, very struggled with, with my shots. But uh, I knew that I need to find a way to make an impact of the game, even if I'm not making the shots. So I think it was all about defense, rebounding the ball. And uh, when I feel confident defensively, and my offense is coming too. Thanks, Nico. Enjoy this one. Congrats, and we'll see you in Golden You're State. You're welcome. Yeah, see you. <laughs> Joel. All right. The beard's gone, and his family's with him in New Orleans. Huge. And that is, yeah, I talked to him today.